what's up guys welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! pro duel video a new archetype was revealed i believe yesterday yeah yesterday i think so um brandish and as soon as i read the the two link monsters revealed and the one of like level four monster i believe if i'm not mistaken um i was like Ooh, this feels a lot like Zodiacs, not as in the form of power level, but you know the, the one card exceeds as it was with Zodiacs. Now with this, with your um, with your new, or with your yeah, Brandish archetype, it's like a one card link thanks to Ray, like uh, link away and then get some searches. Like the water attribute le let you search during the end phase. It's like a Rota-ish card, any um, Brandish spell, uh, for example, you can add from your deck to your hand. While the fire link monster immediately upon link summon adds something from your graveyard back to your hand and again they only need like one brandish monster well there are some uh, small restrictions but for now that's not too important the, the, um, this first wave of spells was uh, already put up on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro but there are more to come and I believe there's like a, a quick play spell that acts like a storm fort that you know lets you tribute summon um, well, lets you tribute um, opponents monsters right but it's not yet on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro as I'm making this video the build is super super early so again all feedback is definitely appreciated but it's just to showcase like the power uh, of this new brandish uh, archetype they have a field spell which is definitely okay as you will see in a couple of moments they also have like a built-in rota uh, the startup that also is like an upstart goblin same for the the fiery spell card here lets you pop an opponent's monster and and that's like the uh, the addition that all these brandish cards have the regular cards that is is you have like if you have like three or more uh, spell cards in your grave doesn't matter which spells they get like a beneficial an extra effect of let's say draw one card or destroy an extra spell from your opponent and you know there are more brandish spells to come so yeah let's see a couple of example duels Okay, first example, um, again just showcasing the possibilities with this current new support. As I mentioned, I believe it's a quick play brandish spell card, I believe that, you know, uh, you can and that's the biggest restriction that currently this deck has is that these regular brandish uh, spell cards, you can only activate them if you don't control any monsters in your main monster zone. So if you feel like a link monster or an extra deck monster in your extra monster zone, that's definitely not a problem. The field spell in combination with any true Drake spell that's good since you can target like a true draco spell if you yeah then you excavate the top three cards from your deck and if one of those three cards is like a brandish card you can add it to your hand and then the other two are shuffled back into the deck and then you can destroy that particular targeted card earlier and in this case you're able to, to destroy a true draco spell so you can destroy your field spell and then again the field spell kind of acts like a special summon from the main deck so immediately get ray on your side of the field and you know a one card link that gets back like a spell from your graveyard for example or depending on your hand go for the blue one the blue link to search something during your end phase i believe the blue one at least yet yeah, needs to be a uh, phase up on uh, upon resolution to get the surge during the end phase the spellbook engine is definitely good since again uh, upon normal summoning yeah you know right uh, the spellbook of secrets the spellbook of knowledge and uh, first of all, it gives you more spells in your graveyard, again, fueling your extra effects of your brandish spells. But at the same time, it gets rid of that, you know, that, that monster in your main monster zone, especially during your first turn. Since, there, well, the field spell kinda acts like a zodiac barrage but here the startup engage that's that card is definitely brutal again if you have those three regular spells in your grave terraforming upstart desires doesn't really matter which one you can first of all upon activation search any brandish card from your deck and add it to your hand it depends on your hand which are you going to search and then you can draw an extra card and again it's not limited to once per turn so you can keep drawing right but for the moment the build is well, the build definitely needs work, but you know, if you're uh, main decking something like hand traps, ash blossom, ghost ogre, you definitely have those extra chances to draw into your hand traps. But yeah, currently the main deck is at 40 cards, but still, testing needs to be done. And as I mentioned before, the quick play spell at this point, at least at this moment of the video, was not yet on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. But that can definitely also have a place in this particular deck, right? We know how Stormfort uh, works in this particular deck. And in this case, it will be a searchable Stormfort. 
Um, again, another example, just showcasing the possibilities. The reason why I choose True Draco is that, um, you know, the normal summon isn't that crucial for True Draco, since, again, as you know, you can just use your spells to get the extra tribute summon, and then, you know, use your regular normal summon for Blue Boy, or maybe Alistair, if you run those cards right. So that, that's all uh, fine. But the fact that that field spell has, like, a Zodiac Barrage effect, right, when it's, like, destroyed on the field, um, you can special summon something from your deck, so it's like a barrage again, and then setting up your link uh, combos. And at the, at, again, at the moment of the video, we only have two link monsters revealed, but I really have high hopes for this particular deck. We don't know if it's going to be the next Zodiacs, but... Yeah, it's 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 a start, right? A one card link searches upon link, uh, searches upon, uh, you know, upon summon. That's quite brutal, right? Um, anyway, against Envoke, the opponent gets to start. Well, depends, right? It's pretty much the same as you're playing true Dracos. Going first, going second. Hand traps are definitely a big um, bummer for this deck, right? Stopping your key cards, for example. But, um... Yeah, anyway, go for startup again, somewhat sacrificing the second effect, but have now three uh, spells in the graveyard, graveyard, so thanks to the third one, I can now have, like, a, um, an extra draw, right? Uh, yeah, thanks to the field spell, uh, you know, eventually keep upgrading the fire one upon summon, get something back, so I can just get back that searcher and upstart the goblin all in the same card. Again, drawing your key cards. Um... But yeah, main point here is get Masterpiece on the field and, you know, if that Storm Fort was still uh, possible, that together with like a true Draco uh, trap card again lifts, leaves you, or at least lets you tribute summon during your opponent's turn again quite strong, right? Same as with Aether and Storm Fort. Um, again, Makaba definitely not a threat, and you know, Masterpiece, uh, I believe, unaffected by spells and monster effects. Nope, the fire and folk is not going to be enough. So, again, this eventually should be GG. So, again, this is not super optimal, right? Again, more cards need to come for the archetype, uh, more options um, next to like a Forbidden Chalice, a chalice card, a Stormfort, I believe. I believe that that's, that's one card, like negate monster effects and tribute summons if you have like a three, um, yes spells in your grave but again there is definitely potential in a hybrid yeah, between your brandish monsters and your true draco monsters you the opponent gets to start again and he's going to get a very very solid start um and that brandy what is it called that afterburner is like the the what is it called yeah maybe like a, a smashing ground you know destroy any phase of uh, monster on the field and again if you have like three or more spells you can destroy a spell card as well on the field so you know possibly uh, destroying your own field spell to get a search or yeah a special summon from the deck or yeah of course destroying a spell card from the opponent but you know like destruction monster destruction isn't really that great against burning abyss so nope and no masterpiece as a follow-up so this is again gg well a plate eventually yeah uh, seer dante yeah what can i do right another example again the desire is currently at three in the main deck but that might be a bit too much there have been countless times and also here the replays not really sure which one but there you know you have banished like a couple of key cards and that's definitely a big bummer so two desires might be okay this is not a great start. The field spell, I believe the field spell needs to reveal, you know, uh, like uh, target any card you control and then excavate top three cards. If one of those three cards is a brandish card, you have to destroy that targeted card. So in true Dracos, that's all fine. But uh, again, you need to, well, if you're hoping to excavate one, you need to excavate one, right? So currently with the current support and maybe other brandish spells that might be a little bit more easy. Since for now, it might be a, yeah, a little but you're maybe running too many dead cards, right? Like the, the afterburner, the, the most left card here might be uh, dead, right? Anyway, go for terraforming again, surge a field spell, get more draws, right? With the bandish start up, engage, etc., etc. But main point here, get yeah, that's cute, right? I mean, the one card links. Special summon them, get the burner back, destroy your opponent's monsters, and maybe if they have, like, a spell, destroy their spells as well. All thanks to, you know, this built-in uh, Link 1 uh, possibilities, right? So, again, at, uh, because of that, it kind of feels like, like Zoodix in, in some way, if that makes sense. 
uh, Ray also has like a thousand blades effect, you know, but that only works if like one of your link monsters is like destroyed by your opponent's card effect or by battle. So it needs to be by your opponent's result. Um, I believe last example, again the opponent gets a start, that's not really a fantastic start, only rage in, uh, you know, putting something face down. But again on my behalf, that's, uh, that's an okay start, normal summon blue boy, immediately setting up two spells and more draws, right? Upstart being the third spell I believe. Um, but run into ghost ogre, okay, that's a problem, um, definitely need the desires here. Draw into the field spell, okay, that sets all fine, get more draws, eventually set up ignis heat, and I believe get one or two draws, two draws, not really the best draws is again, at, at this moment I do control a, a, like a regular monster in my main monster zone so I can't use uh, these uh, brandish spells. So again that restriction needs to, you know, you need to keep that restriction in mind. That's something that uh, I wanted to say. But Masterpiece on the field, that's more than enough right against a lot of decks and now I can eventually attack for a game. The, yeah, the Link monsters also have like a built-in effect that eat, I believe, blue um, lets your opponent's monsters uh, decrease in attack and I believe red gives your own red monster extra attack for each spell card I believe in your graveyard but again don't mind this build too much like the extra deck definitely needs work it was just to showcase these new cards and definitely expect an update maybe like other builds other archetypes but again all suggestions definitely welcome um, guys that's it thanks for watching and feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video leave them sunny out Peace.